Oh, yeah, time, time, time. I won. <laughs> that was so cheap. Oh, man. You did not deserve that win. I deserved it. You did not deserve it. <laughs> I, love the, I love the fury after the dialogue. It happens. It's just so infuriating. It's so pure. Right? It is. It's so infuriating. Uh, uh, it's pure anger before yeah. in my entire I shall, life. I shall avenge you. <laughs> avenge me, avenge soldier! Me. <laughs> Wait, he just dirty flagged me. He dirty flagged oh, me. Son of a gun. Know. You are a mean player. <laughs> oh, somebody's sitting and somebody's oh. standing, you know? <laughs> yeah. If you, you fit, you sit. It don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs>
Hey guys, Brian here, and Marcus knew this was the star piece of the game. Hippie Rob's bishop here, and it's really rare that we see the bishop all the way back here on the back rank. Usually we see it fan shadowed. And I think uh, Marcus had some great attacking ideas here when he pushed this pawn accidentally. You know, if take, take, of discovery check, and if you reject, then kick the king, the queen somewhere, and then maybe target this as some backup. So, and, and look at this. And he had some good ideas, but just... Uh, Man, that's a long-range sniper bishop, and I think they just uh, missed it in one move, so...
But beautifully done, Rob, for keeping that in the in the back pocket there. And it's a great fight by Marcus too. He's been improving a lot, so that's really good to see. It's just that one that one sneaky bishop. And I think going over here, the key to to defending against that rook f3. This was the inflection point in the game. Went from negative 0.5 to negative 3.8. Will be another move for for white here. And the stuff we're going to go over, it's really good because it's not like tactical stuff. It's more like defensive slash positional stuff. Yes, bishop d4. And remember, good move always does at least two things, right? So it does, you know, add some protection against f2 since we saw what happened with the fork here, right? So we kind of got the exchange sack. But going over here, the other reason for d4 is, yes, it prevents this pawn push from unleashing the power of this bishop. So... That's, that would be a defensive move, but hard to see when you're the one playing, especially hard to see this, right? So, um, so that was one way. And I think for Rob here in the game, King takes this play, it's going to move back. So so Marcus kind of saw, didn't want any of that. And King takes will be another move for black here. Went from negative 4.2 to negative 2.3. Yes, D4 unleash the bishop with a mate threat so it's kind of like an intermediate move get the most bang for your buck you still have this in the air rook g1 then take and now if white decides i gotta get rid of this bishop you know knight here and rightfully so this is a monster bishop what what can you do here is black yeah it's not sexy but just go for the grind queen takes f4 and then knight takes and rook takes and you're up a pawn and you can you can win this end game here at negative 4.3 going over here if you drop the bishop back then white will probably just want to trade it off anyway you can double up the pawns and, and win this way and black is still up negative 4.9 but but it's hard to see hard to see when you're the one playing i would say lateral moves are hard to see long down moves i think are the second hardest to see but Great job, Rob, for, for keeping that bishop there, the start piece of the game, and just uh, waiting for the sniper to be unleashed. And hurt goes out to Marcus, man. It happens to all of us, all of us. But great, great fight by both. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with the notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.